everyone. So this is my 10 autumn fall favourite fragrances. I'm starting with the lighter ones that I'll probably choose for the better warmer days and then I'm going on to the heavier ones further down the list. So this is one of the lighter ones. It's called Centerpiece by 4160 Tuesdays. Notes are honey, frangipani, cedarwood, vanilla, citrus sorbets and a hint of chocolate. I absolutely love this one. I'd say the notes don't really give you an idea of how it smells. It's just very, very cozy and comforting. It's kind of musky and the sort of combination of the frangipani, the citrus sorbets and the chocolate make it feel a little bit edible as well without being full on gourmand. A real people pleasing fragrance. The prices on this, you can get a nine mil for 20 pound a 30 mil for 50 pounds, 50 mil for 80 pounds, 100 mil for 120. At the moment on the website, there's an extra special edition, which is the honey edition. So there's extra honey and it's in parfum concentration and it's a special deal, 30 mils for 45 pounds. Mine is on its way. I've ordered mine. I had to because I love centerpiece so much. But I don't know what it's like yet, but I think that's a really great deal. So I'm going to move on. And this one is called Crushed Velvet by Sarah Island Perfumes. Notes are Ylang Ylang Patchouli, Tuberose, Geranium, Rose. You have uh, Moroccan and Bulgarian Rose in here, Vanilla and Sandalwood. So this is a 50ml bottle. The label is really nice. As you can see there, very simple, but a lovely travel sized version. Uh, 15 mils is 30 pounds, 50 mils is 85. This is a really gorgeous, opulent rose. Rose is definitely the main player. I find it almost mineral, almost like smelling an electric storm. I really love it. It's complex, it's different, it's a little bit earthy, but rose definitely plays the main part and I really love it for the slightly colder weather. So we have another rose here. This one is Miracle of Roses by Miguel Matos. This has notes of bread, milk, cinnamon, rose, iris, heliotrope, immortelle, honey, sandalwood, incense and woody notes. This is a really interesting, really complicated fragrance. Again, the main player being the rose, but it's deepened by this sort of bready, milky, slightly gourmand elements without it actually ever feeling like a full on gourmand. It's never sort of full on vanilla-y or ambery exactly. It's just kind of rich and dense with the spices of the cinnamon and the rose is gorgeous in here and the incense and the woody notes. Really nice one for the cold weather. I really like this one. And the price is 90 euros for 50 mils. This one is my beloved Iris Ganache from Guerlain. The notes are cinnamon, bergamot, iris, white chocolate, patchouli, cedar, musk, vanilla, amber and powdery notes. It's a edible type of perfume that actually smells like a perfume, but it just has edible elements to it. Cinnamon and bergamot mean that the opening has some freshness and some spiciness. Dries down into a lovely rich iris concoction. It always feels a little bit spicy. The vanilla in the far dry down is something else. If you love vanilla, this is a beautiful vanilla dry down. But the fragrance is airy and transparent and never too heavy. It is expensive and it's hard to find. So I, I do apologize for those that are gonna find this a bit too much in terms of either the price or just the being able to get it because you do have to get it from the boutiques in Paris. You can get it from Place Vendôme and you can also get it from the Champs-Élysées store. It's 125 mils and you choose your B bottle. I chose a purple one. They give you an atomizer to use with it as well. 
and the price is 340 euros it's a little bit of a you have to really love it i think to to do that but i did so i did so this next one is called hibu and it's by a company called bido if you don't know bido the Perfume is Amanda Beadle and she actually won an art and olfaction award a couple of years ago now for her very first perfume, which is called Chez Noir. Now this one, Hibu, has notes of orange, bergamot, star anise, jasmine, rose, patchouli, rosewood, amber, vanilla, labdanum. 30 mils will cost you £50. I understand she's running quite low on this one, so she doesn't have the 15 mils available at the moment it's a rich outgoing kind of night out fragrance that's very unisex because it has the jasmine which could make it lean feminine but it doesn't because it's really balanced by the woods it's got a real texture to it very orangey ambery all the way through and a little bit of spice from the star anise really really interesting fragrance i've never smelled anything like it and absolutely perfect warmer upper for the colder weather i can see this being a bonfire night fragrance i think it would be perfect for that staying with the same house i had to include chouette which i've just purchased it's a brand new purchase chouette has notes of cassis sweet citrus jasmine soft woods amber and musk it bears a few similarities with Hibo, but it's smoother, softer, muskier, and more for the, if, you, if you're a little faint of heart, maybe Hibo is a bit bold. Shua is softer, there's a nice, soft, subtle woods, a smooth suede-like note going on here. Really nice one. Perhaps more of a daytime, autumn, winter fragrance rather than a night out. A cosy, by the fireplace, in a pub kind of fragrance. Totally unisex, nothing in here is making it men or women. It's just really, really nice smell. But again, very, very different to certainly what I've smelt before. Prices are the same as Hibu. So 30 mil is 50 pounds, but you can also get a 15 mil, which is what this one is here. You can get a little 15 mil and that's 30 pounds. And as you can see the label, they're all handmade by Amanda Beadle. She does everything herself and hand makes these beautiful textured labels. She's actually an artist as well. So she, there's some beautiful artwork that you can see on the website that goes with the fragrances. So I'd say um, if you're interested, check them out. Now this naughty little bugger is called Maxed Out by 4,160 Tuesdays. Notes are lime, coconut, rum, tobacco, cannabis, olive, woods, black pepper, vintage musks, cumin and coffee. So this was a collaboration that Sarah McCartney did with Max off of Maximilian Must Know, the YouTube reviewer, Max Husler. And it was about Max's past life when he was a lot naughtier, when he wasn't sober. And it's kind of reminiscent of a night out that he might have had back in those days. It smells, you can smell the rum and the coconut and the lime very much straight away. And then it kind of gets darker and dirtier. The musks come in and uh, the hints of the coffee and the woodsiness. It used to have, so it's been reformulated a little bit, only that there were a lot of people that weren't loving the cumin. The cumin was quite strong in the original version so that has been toned down and i have to say i do prefer it that way cumin's a bit hit or miss for uh, some people and some people can't even stand it but for me i don't mind a little bit of cumin as long as it doesn't dominate and it doesn't dominate in here and i really love this one it's rich it's dark it's naughty it sometimes feels a bit too dirty for sort of everyday wear but when you're in the right mood it's perfect prices Nine mils, 40 pounds, 30 mils, 95 pounds, 50 mils, 150 pounds, and 100 mils is 250. The reason it's so expensive is because A, it's highly concentrated. So it is an extract parfum 
fragrance and also the ingredients there's a lot of naturals a lot of very expensive ingredients in here when the fragrance first came out it was crowdfunded to buy the ingredients in and it was offered at that time at a cheaper price but now obviously they have to charge a bit more because of the cost of the ingredients but I think it's well worth it because you really don't need much at all it's a very very potent here we have Fort and Manly's Bojnikov Actually, it's Bojnikov's purple hat, and this one has notes of lavender, vanilla, chocolate, vetiver, cedar, guyac wood, and oud. I'm actually wearing this one right now. It's a very dark and gothic. I don't always notice that it's lavender in here. It, to me, it smells like dark fruits, like very dark, I don't know, plums or dark poison berries, actually, because it's so dark and gothic, this fragrance. Now, despite having oud in the notes, I've never really picked up on it. There is this dark woody base, and I think that's probably where the oud is. But for me, it's not oudy. If you don't like oud, don't be afraid of this one, because I don't like oud, and I bloody love this one. It's described as a woody gourmand, and... This is gourmand, but in a very gothic and kind of abstract way. The chocolate's never full on milk, like milk chocolate. It's an extremely dark and bitter and blended with the woods. So you wouldn't really know it's there. You, you do get sweetness, but it's not as sweet as you might expect. It's extremely mysterious, dark, bewitching. I really like this one but it needs to be tested. It's very difficult to describe and you just don't know how it's gonna smell by the notes, I think. They don't really give it away, but I love it. And on the website, he does offer four interest-free credit instalments, which I think is amazing. That's really good. So this is a decant. This is a travel size of MDCI. Sorry, it started raining and I'm in the conservatory. So that's what the noise is. This is MDCI and it's Chypre Palatam, absolutely stunning fragrance. I've been through about two small decans and two or three samples of this one. It is on my to buy list, but this one came up 15 mils for a good price. And I thought I'll just get that for now. No rush to own the full bottle. So this one has absolutely tons of notes. I'm not gonna read them all out to you because I don't think, again, I don't think the notes really tell you what, what you're going to expect with this one. There's lavender, labdanum, clementine, aldehydes, iris, jasmine, gardenia, rose. There's a whole bunch of very ambery, resinous type notes, some castorium, leather and oak moss. What you need to know really is it opens up extremely loud with a lot of florals and the aldehydes. It kind of feels like an old fashioned vintage fragrance to start with but it doesn't take long before it kind of smooths out. All the notes start to blend together really nicely. And before you know it, it's just the most gorgeous ambery dry down with labdanum being the most obvious, a really lovely, thick, rich, syrupy, labdanum, amber fragrance that lasts forever. It's very, very strong. Only need a couple of sprays and it is absolutely perfect to cut through the cold weather. The price is, if you buy a normal bottle, it's 225 euros, and if you buy the posh one with the bust, with the white bust on top, it's 350 euros. I think it's worth it because it's just so strong and it smells so good, but I would never recommend blind buying because it's quite loud, and as I say, the notes just don't help you really understand how it's going to smell. I would have never, ever tried this one because I didn't think I particularly liked Chypres. But someone sent me a sample and once I tried it, I just loved it. Finally then, we have Papillon Perfumeries Bengal Rouge. So this one has notes of sandalwood, Turkish rose, honey, vanilla, myrrh and tonka. It's a 50 mil and it costs 140 pounds. This one is absolutely stunning. If you like rich, warm, ambery fragrances, 
It opens with a really spicy tonka. It's extremely opulent and rich. And then as it dries down, it gets better and better and better. Starts to smell almost chocolatey, like a chocolatey amber. The honey is in the opening. I find it doesn't last too long, which suits me because I'm not a massive honey fan. But um, yeah, just, just in the opening with the tonka, then it kind of seems to gently fade away and then it just dries down and it's just gently changing on your skin all the time. It never gets boring and it lasts forever, more than 12 hours. I've worn it to work. It's gone way past the shift plus driving there, driving back, all that. It's just amazing, absolutely stunning fragrance. If you like an amber, if you like something rich, if you like a sandalwood with amber, then I think you are probably going to love Bengal Rouge. Now, I just tried to go on the website for Papillon, but it's still down. So Liz Moores, the perfume, has had some issues with her website. Someone's tried to hack it. So she's having it rebuilt. If you're interested in getting in touch with her about the fragrances, samples, etc., then do get in touch with her on social media. She's very, very reachable. She's on Facebook. Papillon Perfumery is on Facebook and also Instagram. So don't be shy if you want to give then go a try then get in touch and you can order samples etc that i think is my 10 fragrances for autumn and fall i do hope you enjoyed it let me know if you've tried any of these or if any of them are on your to try list also let me know what are your absolute must have go to's for autumn and fall thank you so much for watching and listening and i'll see you in the next video